Yo people, welcome back to Stoneworks Minecraft. Today we're going to be looking at Tarnsby, or Bunny Town. Now, why do I call it Bunny Town? Because the population is mostly bunny people, from what I remember. And I mean, who wouldn't want to go to a bunny town, let's be honest. So the first thing we're going to see here is the, I guess, foreign market. These, I have to be careful saying so. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff you can buy here. It's quite nice, you know. General small market. Especially works well for uh, small towns like this. This is a... This is quite a small town with like only six people as its pop. So it's, it's relatively small. They do a good job making stuff. Select works of Edgar Allan Poe. Damn. I swear. I thought... I remember voicemail made a bunch of these. I don't know if this is voicemail or so. But I don't know. It could be. Croc crocs and more crocs. <laughs> That's crocs in all the land. This is why I need to feed my wife. Oh. Ah, they do have some crocs. Sheesh. Here's over here a little welcome to Tarn's V sign. Proposition 7. I was off by one. So, the good part about, like, um, Tarnsby and a bunch of claims in uh, this, I guess, region of, I think it's New Demacia, is what it's called, is that they have, like, an open door policy, so, I'm I'm not claimed here, by the way, and I can open doors. My god, you don't understand how nice it is, but I can explore any building, right? If you guys come here, you can literally go in... It's kind of, it's a little bit weird, like, when it comes to personal houses, but you can, like, go in and walk around the whole town. So you got the Guardian of Salvation. I didn't even know this was here. This is really fucking cool. <laughs> I didn't even know this shit existed. Damn. Yo. Oh, my. Okay, so here's all the brewing stuff. This is wild. I actually had no idea this was here. This is, like, a, I guess, like, a personal, like, maybe your communal brewing area. You can see all the brewing stuff here. If you guys saw my, um, Aphadius RP, you guys know these are barrels and you can start brewing with them. I should be, I need to do more, like, brewing related stuff, but... Putting it on the back burner for a little bit. This is really cool, though, like, goddamn. People need to do that more, have an open door policy, because, like, um, imagine how much money you'll make when people, like, go around explore explore, you have to, like, people go around exploring your town. And you don't even have to ask them to, because they can just do it on their own. And find like really cool stuff. The library. Ooh, what am we gonna see in the library? Yeah, I had a tour of this town, but I didn't get shown this, I'll be honest. <laughs> right, it's so nice being able to just go around everywhere. As much as I don't know, some people will definitely argue as a security rest of it. There's loads of stuff here. So, um, I think Oberon is the mayor of this town, so, uh, that's cool. He's making books and stuff. For a town of seven, like, population, they did a really great job with the buildings and stuff like that. He got, um, ah, okay, the Skyforge, I'm guessing is what this is called. So they got, like, a blacksmith over here, got loads of weapons. Actual forge right there. They put, they put, um, they packed a lot of stuff in a small area. I think it's really cool. Good for the Titan. I even know what this is. Oh, this is like a communal smelling area. Oh, okay, cool. So, since it's like a tight packed community, I feel like everyone's like super good friends. So, you can, you can really see like the, um, you can see that there's like nothing really forbidden, really. <laughs> it's also very, uh, there's a rainbow flag over there. Oh, there's signs here. Oh, it's a, t it's a to do and stuff like that. Oh, that's cool. They've been, they've been working really hard in this place. Up on the hill behind me, I'm working on one of the mansions with a uh, voicemail. 
for um maple, which I think I think maple is like obviously I can't tell you to be honest if I'm not I remember. <laughs> but uh, all you need to know is I'm working on Maple's house back there. I don't you guys haven't seen Maple yet, but I'll probably explain her there. Oh yeah. This is a good time actually to show you guys um up on screen. It, I'll find the race information, like uh the bunny race, I guess. <laughs> I'll find the information, I'll put it up on screen now. Oh, I'll be down here, right? Hey, that's K is it KT twenty two? That's her house. Okay. Yeah. My favorite part I think one of my favorite small details is like the smaller mailboxes everyone has. Not everyone, but most people have them, I feel like. Like uh, the Here's one of the gods, I think. I, I to be honest, I, I'm pretty sure it is one, but um, I just can't wait. Oh, okay, let's just read it. Let's just read it. It's the Maiden of Terracotta, Shaper of Tansby. There we go. Boys, it helps if you read beforehand. Remember that. <laughs> this is an elephant, I think? Like, spraying war on itself? I mean, if it, if it is, like, damn, it did a great job, because, like, Figured out pretty much instantly, like it wasn't a hard one. Got some benches here. If you're wondering why there's telephones everywhere, it's just my um resource pack. <laughs> I don't know what the uh, resource pack resource pack changes, but um yeah. So there's just gonna be a bunch of telephones. Here's Katie's cafe and brewery. See, like, look how many shops and stuff there is. Like, I don't know, I almost missed it completely. There's, like, like, the amount of stuff, man. Wow. Cake, hell yeah. What is this, then? I don't want to just, like, I feel bad if I don't, like, show all the towns, like, stuff. La Formagerie? Mm. God, so this is a cheese shop. Like, um, yeah, this is all cheese right here. He doesn't like poutine. Oh my god, poutine. Oh. Good old Canadian poutine. Oh, what's this? We're gonna building up stock. If there's cheese you want, if there's not out, please ask. Okay. Here is the giant rainbow flag. Up close. Really nice looking. This is... A plateau... A pla god, I can't say it. A plateau lux. Man, and it does look astounding inside. Front desk, obviously. I'm guessing this is more of like a motel, right? Yeah. Get some standard size rooms. Not too bad. Not too bad. The space they have, this is um really well done. Because obviously they don't have like the same amount of space as like um. A grand older rush because that shit's massive. But this is really well done for the space it's using. Ah, I think this is a uh, pride bar. I think it's called. <laughs> I'm too short. Sure. I'd feel bad if I didn't show it off because something. Oh my god, there's a strip club. There's a strip hall. Yeah, so these people. There's a lot of diversity going on here, okay? Oh, uh, they also have a DJ coming down here. Nice. They have flags for, I think, all, if not most of the, um... Oh, I, I can't think of it on regard for its sexualities, I guess? Please don't crucify me for not remembering. Goddamn. But yeah, they have flags for pretty much all of them, I think. Pretty cool. God, someone's gonna be like, bro, you don't even know. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> It's 18 plus only. At least they have a sign, okay? At least they have a sign. Oh my god, I- oh my god, I almost forget about this stuff. There's another statue here, which is recently built, I don't think. Actually, this might not have been the recent one. I'm tripping. But here's another statue, I think it's Terracotta Lady again. <laughs> I can't remember her name. I've already forgotten. Leave me alone, okay? Here's a shooting game. Well, I guess like it might. I don't know if it's a game or it's just like practice. I imagine it's just shooting practice. You got the three different distances. Can you hit them? Obviously, the lights turn off when you do. 
This is cool. This is a stage for plays. Yes, they, they do actually do plays here. Um, from what I remember, like, like the most recent play they were gonna do got stolen. <laughs> yeah, honestly, dude, the um, there's a lot of drama and history to this town. You should probably read up on it. If I find the Ricky, I'm putting it in the description below, and I'll put it on screen a little bit. You can have like a quick read if you want to pause the video. Um, I think that is pretty much everything. Over here, there is like a temple, and um, <laughs> and yeah, don't quote me on this, guys. I cannot remember the names half the time. God damn. We can still open everything, nice. Right? It's all cool. This is Savander. So this is a completely different town, but it's so close. I might as well include it into the video. I'm not sure what the temple is called. There's not a sign for it. Fortunately, sorry. <laughs> I wish I remembered fucking this stuff, man. Yeah. There's only one current member? Man. Oh. Yeah, well, <laughs> this is like the extension, I guess, to Tom to be, which is called Savender. They got some crazy stuff going on here. They got a new statue. I, I saw this get built recently. Uh, Maple built this. It's a statue of Selen, goddess of knowledge. May she guide us and protect us. It's also quite dusty in here for some reason. I guess it's an old statue, okay? You got this beautiful garden here. You got a storefront that's vacant. I'm not sure what, what this place may be. Oh, it's a bar up here. Kind of cute. You got a windmill over there. This place is the most, um, I guess the newest area. Over here, it's just like, all this stuff is unrelated, like, wilderness. Damn, I'm lagging back. <laughs> Look at this fountain, though. Oh my god, it's probably one of my favourite fountain designs I've seen so far. You got custom trees over here. I think these are, these are, just like, what is this again? Is it another sign that? Oh, I don't know, it's just a custom tree. It's a nice looking tree though. Uh, windmill over there. A really well decorated garden. You gotta love people who put like mad time and effort into gardens and stuff. This is Nemo's home. You can have a look at it. I like the um, sandstone, like red sand I think it is architecture they're going for on this one it's kind of like giving that oasis vibe this is where Lant lives this is Lant's resident <laughs> I can probably walk into his house I can now I'm showing everyone your house <laughs> um it's pretty small actually but it does look really nice on the outside so I can't complain too much oh there's an area here they are really, they're really good at making like small crane houses. But I don't want to show off everyone's house. Ooh, vacant home. I mean, guys, if you want to move in, feel free to contact um people at Townsby. See, it's more vacant houses. But honestly, I recommend some people move down here. I imagine the community is great, and um, if you want to help out a small town, get like uh expand. Shut your path up, I you right here. Okay, people, that's gonna be it for me, dog. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.